Hello, I'm Jim Nakambola, and you're watching Sorry I Didn't Know. Come with me as we laugh our way through learning about the past's underappreciated brothers and sisters. History with a touch of colour. <laughs> Helping me party like it's a work event is the incredible Chizzy Akadulu. <laughs> Chiz. Who have you got bringing the pizzas tonight? So on my team, I'm extremely excited to have... He is a comedian, he's an ex-bouncer, <laughs> and I touched his arms earlier, and uh, I think I'm pregnant. <laughs> it's Emmanuel Sanubi! <laughs> and on my left, I have an amazing comedian. She's just finished a tour called Coconut. It is Shazia Mirza! <laughs> And assisting me in the most expensive classroom I've ever seen. <laughs> it's Eddie Caddy! <laughs> yes! Hello, Jimmy. What's what have you got with you tonight? I'm smiling for a reason. On my left here, we have the exceptionally talented, brilliantly funny, and the best dressed person here tonight. And of course, <laughs> a wonderful human being, the one and only Susie Raffaul. <laughs> <laughs> yes. And on my right here, man, with this guy on our team, there are no hurdles we can't overcome, yeah? <laughs> We're talking about a national treasure, Olympic hero. And you know what? Suddenly my dad's watching and say, comedy has made sense. I'm with <laughs> the one and only Colin Jackson. <laughs> wow, 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 wow. Yeah. Listen, Susie, man, that suit. You yeah. saw the memo? I got a phone call that said, bring a pop of colour. Yeah, bring a pop of colour. I bought a pop of colour. I love it, I love it. And I love a little pop. It. Listen, but Susie, a birdie told me that you just got married. Is this true? I did, yeah. Oh. I just, yeah, very recently. Yeah, thanks. That's very nice. Thank you. It's to a woman, in case anyone's confused. My hair's not an accident. <laughs> Excellent. Uh, Excellent. Jesus, Jesus yeah. yeah. is yeah. And Colin, from one national treasure to another, um, <laughs> it's an absolute honour, so thank you for being here. Oh, it's really is. My pleasure. My pleasure. But, Colin, I want to talk about the work that you do for society, for diversity and inclusion, and I've got one question for you. Go on. Of all the things you've achieved, what are you most proud of? Do you know, I think one of the most important things, I think, for all of us is to always leave a positive legacy. So whatever you're trying to do, whether you're helping the youth, whether you're helping diversity, what it is, is to always leave a positive legacy. And for me, that's all I try to do. So when I'm dead and buried, they go, you know, that Colin Jackson, he was all right, isn't it? Uh, <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Give it up for Colin. <laughs> Colin Jackson. Anyway, Jimmy, concentrate, concentrate. All right, it's great to have you back, Shazia. Thank you. Thanks. Since you've been on the show, you've been touring hard, right? Like, yeah. How's that been going? It's been good. I've been doing my show Coconut. I've been to some very white areas. I've been to, like, Swansea, Aberys... Wales, basically, <laughs> Wales. I mean, Colin's the only black person in Wales. <laughs> <laughs> but, uh, you know, people are very... They react strangely to a Muslim woman doing stand-up because, you know, on TV, we don't see many Muslim women. We either bake cakes in a burqa or blow things up. <laughs> 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 Between. So, <laughs> like Colin, you said about adding adding positivity. I mm. feel I'm here to add the positivity to balance it all out. I love that. You know, <laughs> <to> Shazia. <laughs> <laughs> Emmanuel, listen, you are killing it right now, right? You are flying high in the comedy game. I've got a bit of a nervous question. Are you thinking about getting into acting? Because I hope not, because, look, it's hard enough having to compete with Idris Elba out here, do you know what I mean? <laughs> so, uh, so what's going on? Funny enough, Idris Elba and I were both up for the part of String and Bell for The Wire. Oh. That was a lie, but I wanted to show you all my acting skills. <laughs> um... <laughs> That was good, that was good. I was trying to be all happy for him. I was like... <laughs> oh, yeah, OK. Listen, it's an honour to have you on the show. And, uh, yeah, don't get into acting. <laughs> <laughs> OK. Give a round of applause for our amazing guests! <laughs> Tonight's first round is This Was When. I'm going to show our teams a picture of a historical event. Then it's over to them to buzz in and tell me what they think is happening. Get it right, get a point, get it wrong, feel the wrath of your ancestors. <laughs> Feet on the buzzers, and here we go. Can we have our first snapshot in time, please? So who can tell me what moment in history we are witnessing here? 
Jazzy. Miss Bethnal Green, 1966. <laughs> <laughs> Chizzy. All right, this will be the Rwandan Welcoming Committee. <laughs> <laughs> Susie. Is it the original Power Rangers? <laughs> <laughs> Emmanuel. This is the last brownie meeting before the Liberals let white girls in. <laughs> <laughs> Chizzy. Was this when some guys, or possibly girls, because I can't really see very well, um, dressed up in uniforms and stood by a mountain? Can I switch teams? <laughs> <laughs> you say where you are. <laughs> Colin. I'll put you all out to your misery now. <laughs> this was actually my welcoming committee after I broke my first world record. <laughs> I'm just going to give you guys the answer, OK? This was when, during World War I and II, the King's African Rifles fought for Britain, made up of troops from Britain's East African colonies, as well as some British officers, including Idi Amin, and award-winning children's book author Roald Dahl. Which one's Roald Dahl? <laughs> <laughs> Shockingly, the first memorial to acknowledge the contribution of African and Caribbean soldiers was only unveiled in 2017. Can you <gasps> believe that? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Next scene, please. What was happening when this was taken? Shazia. That was Robert Mugabe, the musical. <laughs> <laughs> Eddie. The first black illegal rave. No, the feds are coming. Freeze. <laughs> <laughs> no. <laughs> Susie. Was Gloria Estefan right and the rhythm will get you? <laughs> <laughs> oh. Eddie. Jimmy, you see that guy standing, right? Mm -hmm. He's warning them. If you people move, I'll release my pants. <laughs> no, don't do it. We know what happened the last time. <laughs> and look at his friend on the right. Oh, man, just let me shine for once, man. <laughs> OK, I'm going to give you guys the answer. I don't think you're going to make this one. <laughs> this was when Le Ballet Nigre were Britain's first black dance company, founded in 1946 by two queer Jamaican dancers, Berto Pasuka and Richie Riley, at the time where black dance shows were simply unheard of. Mm. I was right then, the rhythm got them. <laughs> yeah. They got into ballet. I think that's a half point of leap. Yeah, yeah. You know what? I'm feeling generous. I'm going to give oh, you guys you half go. a point because Eddie did say, is it a legal rave? I think we'll give you half a point Jimmy. for that. Yeah. Jimmy! Next scene, please. Oh, dear. What in the name of outright blatant <laughs> racism is going on here? <laughs> Susie. Um, is that the Conservative Party conference? <laughs> 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 Eddie. Jimmy, he's not having fun. You can tell that band, no rhythm, dry. He looked across. <laughs> he saw nothing, no carnival. Go, do you know what? Let me go over there. In fact, I need to fit in. <laughs> <laughs> Here I am. Yeah, look, some of that. <laughs> have some of that. Have some of that. <laughs> Obviously, you're supposed to go anti clockwise, but you know, yeah, that yeah. would do. <laughs> That will do, my friend. You be you, or us. <laughs> Emmanuel. That's actually Boris Johnson's second or third stag do. <laughs> Eddie. Yeah, so it feels like they are basically just celebrating a thing, but it might not be in Britain. Because mm -mm. I've heard of something abroad, maybe in Holland or something, mm -hmm. where they do, like, a yearly event. Mm -hmm. Susie? Yeah, is it something Peter? Mm -hmm. Is it... Susie, I know where you're going, but no, it's not that. Is it not that? No. Okay, then I stand down. <laughs> Colin? Oh, well, I was just going to pick up from where Susie <laughs> left off and say it's in the Black Pete celebration that they had oh, in, in, in Holland, which yeah. is linked to Christmas in that sense. Yeah. Which is, that's you obviously nothing. say it's not. So... I'm going to give you guys half a point. This was when earlier this year, yes, this year, <laughs> the Britannia Coconutters, this has got to be made up, surely. <laughs> the Lancashire dance troupe defied a national ban on blackface makeup. Morris dancing's origin is widely thought to be from North Africa mm. and that the tradition first came to this country in the 15th century. I'm sure everyone would enjoy the dancing just as much without the face paint. Just a thought. <laughs> but do you know what, right? I'm not so insulted by the blackface. It's the fact that they didn't do their hands as yeah. well. <laughs> yeah. I mean, what do you mean? You're gonna do it, go all the way, right? Get a prosthetic, put it on your dick, all that kind of <laughs> shit. <laughs> it's true, Jimmy. No much true. And that concludes our first round, and the winner is Team Eddie. We gotta catch up. Our next round tonight is Blackity Blank. You sample our music, culture and food, 
We sample your game shows. Win, 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 I think. <laughs> In this round, I'm going to read out a historical statement with several words missing. Our glorious panel need to fill in the blanks. If a team gets it wrong, the other team gets a chance to take the point. Chizzy, your team's up first. Ooh. In 1969, the world almost witnessed the ultimate supergroup of Paul McCartney... I know this one. Blank... <laughs> Let me finish the question first, guys. That's right, I'm keeping it cool. <laughs> it's got bigger muscles than me. Right. <laughs> hey, Jimmy, this guy's got six-packs on his neck. You want to be careful. <laughs> I can't look at him. I can't look at him. <laughs> okay. I can't look at him. In 1969, the world almost witnessed the ultimate supergroup of Paul McCartney, blank and blank. I believe that in 1969, the supergroup that the world almost witnessed with Paul McCartney would also have featured Jimi Hendrix and... Stevie Wonder. No, it wasn't, it wasn't, it wasn't Stevie Wonder, it was Miles Davis. God. That is correct! Oh, you're right. <laughs> In 1969, the world almost witnessed the ultimate supergroup of Paul McCartney, Jimi Hendrix and Miles Davis. Can you imagine that? No. Oof. Yeah. No. <laughs> Is that because you didn't get the question? OK. <laughs> All right, next statement, please. Eddie, you're up. The practice of blank was brought to America by blank. OK, the practice of... OK, what are they practising? They're practising something very serious that makes people go, what is that? Voodoo? Hey, my Ooh. brother. I didn't want to say it, my mum won't like that. <laughs> I let other people say now you're in trouble. <laughs> Practice of voodoo was brought to America... By... By... a man who was captured and he decided revenge is the only way. <laughs> 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 Jimmy. Um, Jimmy. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna just pass it over to Jimmy. That wasn't right. <laughs> the practice of news reading was brought to America by an Asian woman. <laughs> because, you know, when I was growing up, my dad always used to say to me, hurry up, hurry up, get downstairs. Trevor is on the TV. Because Trevor MacDonald was the closest thing to an Asian woman at the time. <laughs> <laughs> the actual answer is this. The practice of vaccinations was oh. brought to America by a slave. In 1721, a smallpox epidemic struck the city of Boston, killing hundreds, and it was thanks to an enslaved man by the name of Onesimus that everything changed. Onesimus shared the practice of immunization, which had already been used in Africa for centuries. Bet you didn't know about him. But well, we do now. And the winner of that round is... Chizzy's team! <laughs> See you after the break. <laughs> Welcome back to Sorry I Didn't Know. Our next round is Who Am I? The Gallim 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 Gallim. Gallim. <laughs> <laughs> In this round, our team captains will have to get active by way of getting out of their seats and on their feet and walking to the center of the stage. Gots to get them steps in. The teams will be shown a picture of a famous person and Chizzy and Eddie will take turns to guess who it is by asking them teammates questions that can only be answered by a yes or a no. If you get it right, you can ask another question. If you get it wrong, the play passes to another team. Get your game faces on. It's time to go head to head. Can we have the first person, please? Right. Chizzy, you're up first. Is it a man? Yes. Yes. Is he American? No. no. Okay. Eddie? Is it a sports person? Yes. yes. Oof. Does it involve a ball? Yes. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Does the sport involve kicking the ball really high between two posts? No. no. Chizzy? Is he a footballer? Yes. yes. <laughs> because you are useless at that. <laughs> Is he still playing? No. no. Eddie, would you consider him a legend? Yes. yes. <laughs> <laughs> Does he have children who played the sport? Yes. Is it Ian Wright? Yes! yes. <laughs> <laughs> that is correct. <laughs> it was, of course, Footballer and pundit Ian Wright. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I'll give you that one. I'll give you that one. I'll give you that one. Don't you want to be starting <laughs> All right. Well done, team. <laughs> Next person, please. Chizzy, we're over to you. Okay, is it a man? No. 
Eddie, are we talking music? No. No. Chizzy. Is it an actor? Yes. Is she of a lighter skin? Yes. Yeah. Is it Tandy Newton? Yes! Yes! yes. Oh, <laughs> Is correct. <laughs> <laughs> it was, of course, iconic actress. The correct pronunciation of no her way. name, Chizzy, is actually Tendi Ware oh. Newton. No point. <laughs> <laughs> okay, next person, please. Chizzy, can you guess who this is? Okay, is it a man? Yes. Yes. Okay, fine. Um, is he from England? Yes. Yes. Is he a sportsman? Yes. yes. Does he play a sport where he's in a team? No. Okay. Susie? Colin, can I confirm he's currently active? Yes. Yes. Is it in your world, Colin? No. Chizzy. Is it anything to do with speed? Yes. yes. Lewis Hamilton. Yes. yes. <laughs> <laughs> it was, of course, record breaking <laughs> F1 driver <laughs> Lewis oh, Hamilton. No. Next person, please. Eddie, here we go. Okay, team. Is it a woman? Yes. yes. Mm, look at my team. <laughs> <laughs> we're in sync, we're in sync. Is it a musician? No. No. Chizzy. Not in sync anymore, are you? <laughs> <laughs> Is this woman an actor? No. <laughs> Welcome back, Eddie. <laughs> 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 the Lord said your jobs will not last too long. <laughs> <laughs> oh, right, so, is this woman a broadcaster? Yeah. Yeah. Is the show that she's on evening? Yeah. No. Chizzy, over Lord to you. Lord give her and the Lord take her away. <laughs> <laughs> Is it Judy Love? No. No. <laughs> Look at your life. <laughs> 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 Which Lord were you praying at? <laughs> <laughs> that Lord never gave. <laughs> <laughs> but he never gave up on me. All right. It's a daytime show. Yes. So when we say daytime, do we mean earlier in the day, like morning. Yeah, yeah. I don't wake up that early, my guys, we're finished. <laughs> <laughs> we are finished. <laughs> so it's a sort of national breakfast type show. Yes. They put black people on that now. <laughs> <laughs> okay, okay. Is she very energetic? Yes. Like yes. me. Is it Alison? Yes. Don't and, oh, God, Alison, she was a big brother a long time ago. Yes. Alison's surname. <laughs> this, Jimmy, come on, All help right, an African I'll brother here. That is correct. <laughs> it was, of course, TV <laughs> presenter Alison Hammond. And at the end of that round, it's a tie. <laughs> and that brings us to our final destination. General chupidness. <laughs> In this buzzer round, each question is worth one point, so it's all to play for. Feet on buzzers, let's go. Who won a Grammy in 1985 for best male R&B vocal performance? Shazia. Billy Ocean. That is correct. Yes. <laughs> Wilfred Wood was the first black what in England? Shazia. Bishop. That is correct. Hey! Wow. <laughs> <laughs> In which African country did the famous Rumble in the Jungle take place? Eddie. It's my country. <laughs> Which is? It was called Zaire then, but now it's called the DR Congo. That is correct. <laughs> Zaire, now DR Congo. Which Caribbean island is closest to the equator? Eddie and Susie. Which one do you want to go? Is it Trinidad? That is correct. <laughs> According to Forbes, Nigerian businessman Aliko Dangote is the richest black man on the planet. He's worth 15.1 billion. How did he make his fortune? I'll accept three answers. Eddie. Cement, um, I believe sugar, mm -hmm. rice. Flour, flour. That is correct. Sugar, flour <laughs> and cement. Next question. In 2021, Barbados ditched the queen to become a republic. If you didn't know, mm -hmm. what is the capital? <sighs> Shazia. Bridgetown. That is oh, correct. Very that funny. Oh, oh. She's fast. The Commonwealth Games have only been held in a majority black country once in 1966. Where was that? <laughs> Colin. Jamaica. My God. That is correct. Give it up. Who was the yeah. Secretary General of the United Nations between 1997 and 2006? <laughs> Eddie. Kofi Annan. 
That is correct. <laughs> Kofi Annan. Next question. Who was regent of Ethiopia between 1916 and 1930 and emperor of Ethiopia between 1930 and 1974? Colin. Ali Selassie. That is correct. Hey. Ali Selassie. 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 All right. The girl of sugar? Yeah, man. <laughs> yeah, man. And the winner of that round and tonight's show is Team Eddie. <laughs> What a show we've had tonight. I think I need to lie down. Please join me in thanking our incredible guests, Emmanuel Sanubi, <laughs> Shazia Mirza, <laughs> Susie Ruffle, yeah. Colin Jackson, yeah. and our esteemed captains, Shizia Kadulu yeah. and Eddie Caddy. Yeah. And it wouldn't be Teddy without you amazing souls at home watching it. Thank you so much for spending your evening with us. I hope you had as much fun as we did. And let us all try and remember the wise words of W.E.B. Du Bois. The cost of liberty is less than the price of repression. Of course, that's before inflation. <laughs> Good night.